money, do not trust in it. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. As we continue to look at what the Bible teaches concerning money, we, we see this important truth in Scripture, where God warns us against trusting in riches or trusting in money. That means while we understand that it is God who blesses us with it, that it is a gift of God, it is God who gives us the power to get wealth, it is God who gives us the wisdom to cause it to grow and increase as we are good stewards of money. There is also this warning that God gives to us. He says, do not trust in it. That means while I may have a lot of money, or whatever amount of money I have, my dependence should always remain on God and not in how much money is in my possession. In Psalm 62 and verse 10, the psalmist said this, he said, Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. So, here's a very clear warning that God is telling us. He says, I don't want you to put your heart on your money. That means your confidence, your trust, your security, your feeling of uh, a safety and security doesn't come from how much money is in your possession. Your confidence, your strength, your security should always be in God, in who He is, in the promises, in His Word that has been given to us. And we look at money, like we said, as a tool that is placed in our hands, as a gift He has given to us, as seeds that is in our hands, as something that God has given us, of course, to enjoy and to bless others with. But our trust and our dependence, our reliance is always on God. So this is something we need to guard our heart with. Now, only God knows our heart and we need to be true to ourselves to, uh, uh, so that we know within ourselves and that we are clear in ourselves that our trust is always in God. If at any time in life, you begin to feel very confident about yourself because, well, I now have a lot of money. I have a lot of investments. I've got a lot of possessions. So I'm really secure. If you ever find yourself coming into that kind of place, that's when you and I need to check our hearts. That's when you and I need to put our trust in God and take our trust away from the possessions that we have. We need to keep our heart right before God on a day-to-day -day basis, even when riches increase in our hands. God will entrust us, God will bless us, but He wants to make sure that our heart is always kept in the right place. Because where your treasure is, your heart will be there. And where your heart is, that's where your treasure will follow. So make sure your heart is kept in God all the time. Let's pray. Father, we ask you that you will give us the grace to make sure, Lord, that our heart, our trust is always in you. We thank you for your goodness and your blessings on our lives. And God, like your word says, even if riches increase, that we do not put our trust in them, but our trust and our dependence and our confidence, Father, is always in you and in your word and in how you bless us with. I pray for those listening, that you'll help us keep our heart in the right place at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.